So we saw how the image collector worked and we collected certain images from there. Now the next part of the deal for the training set admin is to extract faces from those collected images because as I mentioned earlier that we actually need a collection of face images for each student in a class. So training set admin has to collect those face images, a set of face images. So now that he's collected the, uh, the images, class images, he's going to extract faces from it. So let's see how it, he does that. This is our face extractor and face. You can see this image, once again, it's for demo purposes. So this is from the collection, the collected images folder. You can see it over here. This is the first image loaded into the picture box. Now, this browse button has been given to browse to any location you want to try with, uh, try this interface with. You can, uh, you know, browse your own image into it and see how detection works on your image. But right now, I'll focus on the demo provider over here. Once again, the next and previous buttons allow you to just skim through the images in the collected folder, collected images folder, for you to try various images and various situations. So, okay, let's see how it actually detects. So first, the ma major button you just have to click is Detect Faces button. Okay, so we got maximum faces. We missed two over here. Now, how can I get better results? So to provide an, an enhancement tool to the training set admin so that he can actually, uh, you know, extract m a maximum possible number of faces from an image. We gave him the options of pre-processing an image and to set the parameters of uh, the detector. That is to tune the detector to settings that will allow him to detect maximum number of faces. We'll see how it happens. Now there are two methods of detecting faces from images. We have one is crop rows method. Now in this method you'll see that the image will be actually cropped by rows. You see this row 1, row 2, row 3, and row 4. We have actually split it into certain rows by image and from each row of the image it will extract out, detect faces and then extract them out. The other method is to resize an image. You see, because the web camera we used was low resolution, that meant that more image processing had to be done on the image for a better detection, uh, better face detection. So we provided an option to actually first raise the resolution to a st certain standard on which where the detections will be maximum. So you could try both of them. Let's have a look at the crop rows method. Yeah, remember one thing, that the image present over here right now is the image that you'll be inputting in this method. Right now it has been detected and for the sake of just uh, explaining it to you, I'll just refresh the image. There we go. Now we'll just crop use the crop rows method. Okay, I have selected this and now I need to detect faces. Okay, there we have it. See, row one. Now the people sitting over here are not very much ranged in an arranged manner. The seats are, you see, there are some random arrangement. We have actually, uh, you know, in the real time environment, they should be arranged at particular distance, the seats and the students, so that there is no occlusion occurring. Like over here, you see this face has been blocked by the face in front of it. So the seats and the rows have to be arranged properly. We'll see in an example next. Okay, to proceed to the next row, click the cross button, close it. And we'll have the second row. Now, if you noticed, you see this cropped image, the size has been in increasing. The image, the row, the farthest row, the top row of the image will have the greatest size because the faces at the back are the smallest, so they need, need to be enlarged uh, by a bigger ratio than the, those in the front. Okay, so we have all of these extracted. And see, as I told you, that the setting arrangement was not very good at this image, so naturally there will be no detections. Once again, the same case. And there we have total nine detections. Okay. Now let's try the resize image method. 
Now you can see over here that this is the width, the original width of the image we had for a demo and the original height of the image. Now let's see, for example, I want to increase it by 1.5 times. I want to increase it 1.5 times the size, the original size. Let's see what happens now. How many faces do I get? Okay, new resolution. See, it's telling you how many times you're increasing it. Oh, see this one more? Now, we, before we had two missing faces and now you see we have just one missing face, this person. That is pretty good improvement, isn't it? You could try more sizes over here, say for two or five or anything. You can try various scaling factors and see the results of the detection. And you can play around with the detector itself over here. Mm. Let's say I just want to use this. I want to tune the detector on the original image, so let's have the scaling factor one over here. Okay, mind it, don't put zero because you know the image size will be zero and you'll have an error over here. Okay, so the, these are the default values, the default tuning settings of the detector, the face detector. So you can, if you don't understand about them, don't just, don't change them. Just let them be. You could increase or decrease the values. Mind it, rescale values goes from 1.1 to 1.4. And window size can increase from 24 to 30 or something. You can just try it. Minimum neighbors also go from 1 to 4. Okay, yeah, the fun part is that you can try different colors of the boxes. You see, it's lime green over here, so I'll go with blues right now. Okay, I'll have the same factor. Let's just say the same factor. Now, I'll keep it 1 and see the difference, actually. Okay, detect the faces. Yes, one times original, it means it's the original. Alright, see this? So, you can just try various images, try various collection, collected images, try various options over here, and you can check out how it works. Oh, and one more thing. When you uh, detect the faces, they are automatically extracted as well, and they will go to, you see this, collected faces. This is where your extracted faces are collected. So I suppose you just explore it around. Thank you.